Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bags I've sold and why combined with a bag wishlist video. I've had so many requests to do both of these and I wasn't really intending on doing so just because I feel like I have done them pretty recently. Um, I did have a bag sale last week which is why I had some requests to do these but I feel like the bags I sold I have kind of talked about in recent videos and I discussed not using them so I didn't want to do whole separate dedicated videos on each so I thought I'd just combine them to hopefully make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, if you you missed out on my bag sale I did announce it on my Instagram however for this time and going forward I am announcing it first on my Facebook page it is first come first serve and so you get about a 30 minute head start if you are a Facebook fan of mine um, and the reason why I'm doing that is just because I created my Facebook page just last week and I'm trying to get more likes basically so I'm trying to incentivize people to like the page if you just want to go ahead and like the page anyway I'd be hugely appreciative um, but I will link that down below if you do want to keep updated with bags and blog posts and all that kind of stuff so uh, this is going to be more of a chatty kind of video but I am going to be including pictures of the bags that I've sold as well as the bags on my wishlist as well because I did get some comments about that the last time I did these videos that I didn't include pictures so I'm sorry about that I'm going to do it this time and yeah I hope you guys enjoy so I'm going to go in order of what they were listed in. So the first up was my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I have them all down here on my laptop, which is why I'm looking down. At first up was my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. And I think I did mention this in my least used items video. Maybe, I don't actually remember whether I included this. Um, but I don't really have anything against the bag. Um, I did end up getting a new one because the canvas was looking a little bit wonky and it was just kind of being dented in a slightly weird way. It's kind of difficult to explain and I did go to Louis Vuitton and they were pretty hesitant to even try and see if they could fix it because um, they said they couldn't see anything. I was insistent though because I was like I would never, if I got that new, I would have returned it and asked for a new one and considering it was less than a year old and I hadn't used it much, I thought that it shouldn't be doing that and so they did eventually escalate that to Paris and Paris just told them to give me a new one which was great so it was a whole new bag and I decided to sell it just because it wasn't getting that much use um, it was more of an occasional bag for me which to be fair I knew when I got it but there were just bags that I liked more in my collection that got more use so I decided to part ways with it but I know it's a very very popular bag that was by far the most popular bag in my bag sale I must have gotten about 150 emails on it that's not even an exaggeration I got so many questions and people wanting to buy it it was just nuts so definitely a popular bag. Um, in terms of whether I would still recommend it, I think it is pretty durable. I think that my issues with it were quite isolated. I haven't really heard of issues from anyone else. Um, if you do have the bag and have issues then let me know in the comment section but I can't really say anything bad about it, it just wasn't really for me in the end. Next up is my Louis Vuitton Clooney BB and that was quite a last minute addition to the sale. I wasn't actually intending on selling it, um, but I have my eye on something else which is quite similar, which is why I ultimately decided to part ways with it. I discussed that bag in my recent purchase update video and I did have a few little niggly issues with it, so it wasn't total love, but I still did like the bag. However, it was very much an occasional bag for me. You know, it wasn't something that I could use every Every day which I knew and I was fine with but considering I had my eye on this other bag which was very similar in my eyes I couldn't really justify keeping both and um, for those of you wondering the bag that I have my eye on is the Louis Vuitton cappuccino bag which I think is gorgeous and I would probably get it in the PM size probably not in the pink I'm thinking more of the jale color um, but for me those are very very similar bags you know they're the same kind of size same kind of function and I'd probably use them for the same sort of occasion so it didn't really make much sense to me to keep both and I've been lusting after the cappuccino for a while now and I think I've decided that I'm going to try and save up for it even with all the price increases it has just increased I think 300 pounds overnight which is not cool um, but yeah I decided to ultimately sell my Clooney BB and put that money towards the cappuccino. Next up I have my two Chanel bags that I sold so the first one is my red Chanel jumbo and both of these I know I did mention in my least used items video and the simple reason for my red jumbo was just that I don't use red bags this is a life lesson for me that even though I'm always drawn to red bags and I love to buy red bags I don't necessarily like to wear them that much and my red jumbo was just sitting on the shelf really not getting any use and for a bag that is that expensive that's just such a crying shame so I was thinking about that for a while because because a red jumbo was for a really long time my kind of holy grail bag after my black jumbo and I ultimately decided that 
even though I really, really loved it. If it's just sitting there, it's really just money down the drain. Even though, you know, Chanel classics always go up in value and in price, for me, if I'm not using my bags, then that is a massive, massive waste. So I decided to sell it and it shipped out on Friday and I have no regrets so far. So hopefully that isn't one I'm going to regret. And then the second one is my Chanel Beige Claire. And loads of people were like, oh my goodness, don't sell that bag, it's such a classic. And I do agree, it is a complete classic, but similarly to the Red Jumbo, if I'm not using it, then I do just think of that as a waste of money. I do collect handbags, but at the same time, handbags are there to be used. They're not just art for me. You know, I obviously like to display them and I like to look at them, but I do also really like to use them. And for whatever reason, I just didn't like the Beige Claire that much. It was definitely a bag that I bought because I kind of felt I had to because I was such a Chanel fan and that was one of the ultimate classics. But when I got it, I really much preferred my Chanel Mini, my Chanel Jumbo. I think maybe I should have gotten that combination in the Jumbo size because the medium large really isn't a favourable size for me. I find it a little bit too small. And, you know, if I'm going small, then I'll go really small like my Mini. Otherwise, I want a bigger size like the Jumbo. So I might get a Jumbo at some point in the future, but I think I've talked about this. The price increases are really turning me off Chanel. So I don't know if that's going to happen, um, but it was necessary, I think, to sell the medium large just because it wasn't getting any use at all. Next up was my Tory Burch Perry Tote, and this was in the Deep Berry colour. And I think this was the second most popular bag after the Alma BB, which kind of surprised me. Uh, I sold it just for what I paid for it, so I did buy it half price. I got it on sale from the Tory Burch website, so it was £177, I think. So that's what I sold it for, and I just got so many questions about it. And I said to people, you know, if there's another Tory Burch half price sale, I'll let all you guys know. Um, but I had an overwhelming number of emails about that bag, so I guess the Perry Tote is becoming a lot more popular now. Um, you guys know that I am the biggest fan of that tote bag so it definitely wasn't anything against the actual function of the bag. It was purely because I did buy another Tory Burch bag in the Nordstrom anniversary sale which was a very very similar colour so both burgundy and it just seemed a bit silly and wasteful to keep both. So I definitely have my eye on another Perry tote. I don't know what colour I'd get but it seemed silly to kind of keep another Perry tote when I had another Tory Burch bag in such a similar colour which is the only reason I I sold it. I absolutely love the Perry Toad. I fully stand by that bag and I'm still continuing to enjoy my blue one. Then I also sold my two Longchamp bags. I say my. So one was uh, my Longchamp bag that I got from Paris. It's with the Eiffel Tower. I did also gift one to my mum. Uh, I hadn't used mine and it turns out she hadn't used hers either. So when we were talking about it, she was like, hey, can you sell that for me as well? So I did and they both sold really quickly. They were really popular ones as well. And it was just the fact that I have two other Longchamp totes which don't get as much use as they should and that one hadn't been used and it just seemed like a waste. So I decided to part ways with it. Um, not much more to it than that. I still think they're very cute and I'm a big fan of the Longchamp totes anyway, but three is probably a bit too much, I do admit. And that's it for the bags I've sold and why. The only other item I sold were my Manolo Blahnik heels and that was just because they didn't fit. So super simple. Um, in terms of my bag wish list, I don't have a crazy amount on my wish list. I usually do these as blog posts just because I really enjoy writing them, uh, but I decided to talk through this one. It's quite a short one because I have been lucky enough to take most things off my wish list this year and so there isn't that much left. A few new things have appeared on it though. Um, one thing I have ticked off very recently though and I will be doing a bag reveal on that in the next couple of weeks so I won't ruin the surprise for that but in terms of bags I've yet to buy. Um, number one on my wish list is the Prada double bag and I want it in a very specific colour so I've been eyeing the cameo colour with the rose pink lining. Unfortunately it sold out and I did actually decide to pull the trigger on it so I bought it on Online, and then Prada emailed me to say that actually they messed up with the stock and it was out of stock everywhere. They tried to source one in all of Europe and it sold out in all of Europe, which was disappointing to say the least. Um, and so I'm now on the hunt for one, perhaps pre-loved. I'm hoping that they're going to get it back in stock. I did speak to someone from Prada and they were like, they don't really know whether they do that. Sometimes they do bring back seasonal colors and combinations with the lining and other times they don't. So if anyone knows of one or sees one about, please do let me know. I would be forever grateful, but I would love to get that combination. I'm excited to try Prada again because I've stayed away from that brand for so many years now. And I think the Prada double bag is going to be a good call for me. I like the size, I like the fact that it comes with a strap and I love the combination of the cameo and the rose pink lining. So hopefully that'll come up. 
If not in terms of other colours, I thought about maybe going for a blue version because I've been loving my Troy Birch Peritote so much in the blue cloud colour that I think that might translate well to a different bag in a similar kind of shade. But my first choice is definitely the cameo colour, so I'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed that one does magically appear for me. Next up on my wish list is, as I already mentioned, the Louis Vuitton Cappuccino. This was a bag that I was pretty set on getting pre-loved if I could, but I have been monitoring the pre-loved websites for quite a few months now and I can't seem to see one in the PM size, which I have a suspicion is the most popular size, so they don't often come up in that size in the combination I want, which is the Gelé with the gold hardware. So I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that I may have to buy it new, but I'm finding it difficult to justify the price. It's now 3,250, which for me is very much in Chanel territory, and traditionally I just don't spend that kind of money on Louis Vuitton, and the only time I have spent that kind of money was the soft locket, which didn't really work out for me anyway, so I'm a bit scared about doing so. I don't know whether I'm going to pull the trigger, if I'm going to be brave enough. I have already started my saving funds, so I've already renamed my account to my bank account, but I don't know if I'm ever going to pull the trigger. I do want to, but I'm going to go in and try it on a bit more and kind of make sure that I'm really settled. And hopefully with my saving, I think it's going to take me quite a while to save for it because I'm not putting a huge amount away each month for it. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to give me enough thinking time so that when I do have enough money for it, I'm really, really sure that I'm going to you know, buy it and love it and cherish it for many years to come um, because I don't think that the resale value is as great for these. So I definitely want to be very sure. But that's on my wish list. I have seen lots of lovely ladies on my Instagram wearing them and I'm always lusting after them. It is definitely a beautiful bag, but um, yeah, so we'll see about that one. I did also mention that I had my eye on another Tory Burch Perry tote. And I do think I'm going to get another one to replace the berry one I sold. I don't know what color I'm gonna go for yet. I'm debating between the dark gray with peony lining, which is now back in stocks. So they did sell out when they had their kind of 30% off sale, but they're now back in stock. So I'm hoping that it's going to go on sale again because we didn't actually have a sale in the UK. So fingers crossed it does and it doesn't sell out before that. Um, I'm also looking at the this amazing grape colour, which they only just introduced, I think, in the last couple of weeks. I stalked the Tory Burch website quite a bit, um, but that's amazing. It's really pretty and it has a, a silver lining as well. I don't know if it's if it will be a bit silly to kind of get another blue-toned Tory Burch Perry since my other one is blue, but I think it's really lovely. Uh, I've also seen that colour in one of the T-block totes as well, and I did have someone comment me that they weren't very impressed with the T-block totes, which are a little bit more structured and stiff, they said. I've never seen one in real life, so I want to try one on and if I like it I might go for that instead uh, otherwise I might just stick to the peri tote. So that's it for this video you guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know what's on your wish list I would love to hear about it and possibly give me a bit of inspiration for my own as well. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!